my fan is on and it's loud, the window is open and there's a plane going by, so of course I hit record. Anyway, um, I had done a video before about the fans and why people should love the fans back. And I'm hearing another story right now um, that I just, I don't understand. Okay, James Mangold is doing, in, um, what do you call it? Indiana Jones 5, right? There's been a set picture of Harrison Ford, fine, whatever. Apparently, someone on the internet, somebody who I guess has a podcast or something like that, they made a tweet about it and how they don't think it's going to be good and gave some reasons why. So, James Mango, the director, decided to come back and retort and allude to these people living in their parents' basement. And it's just another attack on the fans. And I'm trying, because of what's already in my mind lately, I'm now questioning this. Because, okay, I was watching um, Ryan Kinnell do a video on this subject. And he brought up Lucasfilm. And that triggers in me the idea of the first time I saw somebody doing this, and it was Ryan Johnson attacking the fans of The Last Jedi. I mean, not the fans, the fans of Star Wars who hated The Last Jedi. His film, which I loved. And I didn't understand that. So, long story short, I've said it before. I love The Last Jedi. I watched people turn on it. Mainly because of, in my opinion, the attack that Ryan Johnson did on them when they criticized his film. I thought they were wrong. I love the movie. But by deciding to go into the fan domain of social media and attack fans and insult them because they didn't like his movie, it created a whole nightmare. When I, my point at the time was, why don't you let the work stand for itself? Why would you, you're sitting there, you're a Hollywood director, you've got money, you're in this great position, you've made a movie, it was successful, you're supposed to get more movies. Why don't you just sit there and let the fans argue about it or let them say your movie's trash? Why not let the work speak for itself? Because I thought in that case it did. All, in my opinion, all his fighting with the fans accomplished was making more of a stink, making more bad press and then his future films became in doubt. I don't even know if he's still doing them. I don't know if anybody knows if he's still doing the other Star Wars movies he was set to do. Or they had said that he was going to do. So all he had to do, in my opinion, was just sit there and let the work speak for itself. And then the fans would have calmed down and moved on to something else. And over time, people would have decided, you know, five, ten years on whether it was good or not, having rewatched it many times over on, you know, cable or whatever. He couldn't do that. He had to fight with the fans and it didn't make sense to me. That's not bully behavior, but it almost is because it's like, you're on top. You have everything. Somebody says something about you. Why would you care? Why even bother? I don't understand the point of now telling you, okay, your opinion about my film is wrong. I've been, I've been watching movies my whole life. Yeah, sometimes film critics would anger a, a person who made a movie and they would get upset about it, but that's what film criticism is for. People go to movies to decide whether they like it or not. It's not just, you know, they watch it. Everybody goes to a movie and claps, and if not, they just keep their mouth shut. What's the point of that? There's no point in going to movies. I grew up... Everybody used to argue about movies, who was the best actor, all this kind of stuff. So this new idea that everybody's supposed to either sit there, tell you how wonderful your film is, or just shut up, or in the case of a movie like this, when it's in production, you're not even allowed to say anything on your own Twitter without, you know, you're not challenging the person to a duel. You're just saying, oh, here's why I think this movie's going to suck. You're not allowed to do that anymore. And my question is, is it really James Mangold? Here's why. Because when when Ryan Kinnell on the other channel pointed out Lucasfilm, I said, wait a minute. If Ryan Johnson did this, and I thought it was stupid, it didn't make sense. And now James Col James Mangold is doing this, and I think it's stupid, and it doesn't make sense. Here's where I'm going with this. Okay. I'm not allowed to speculate about Henry Cavill's career. He said so. We're not allowed to speculate about his personal or private um relationships. He said so in a post on Instagram. That story got picked up the world over. Here's the thing. 
I'm not a huge Cavill fan, but as long as I've been paying attention, he always said he didn't mind the fans talking about movies and stuff like that. He knew a lot of people didn't like Man of Steel. He seemed to take a professional adult approach about it and be like, well, they have the right to their opinion. Okay. Now, when the story came out that he posted this thing on Instagram and everybody seemed to be happy that he bashed his fans, um, the thing that got me is was the professional partnerships part. I Yeah, people shouldn't pick on people's girlfriends. People shouldn't attack and stuff like that. If, you know what I mean, that's, that's silly gossip kid stuff, fine, whatever. But the part where it included professional partnerships, I said, wait a minute. Because I had picked on uh, his people because I was like, he should have better roles. Because I was on his side. And now, apparently, I wasn't supposed to do that. As time's gone on, as I see what his fans who were upset have written, they do not even believe he put that post on Instagram. They believe that the management that I and other people may have been criticizing, not him, his management, were actually the ones who posted that. I'm not saying I think about either way. I'm just saying I assume he did it. It's got his name on it. I assume he doesn't want the fans talking about him. That's why I said I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm doing this because it's leading to the subject. Here's the thing. So now I have in the back of my mind this idea that this very famous actor has a legion of fans who, not all of his fans, just the subset who were paying very close attention and feel as though he has relinquished his um, Instagram account to his management team and it was his management team who attacked the fans after the management was criticized on the previous post when the post was about the manager's brand new clothing line. A post came up about the manager's clothing line. The fans went crazy. A lot of fans went crazy saying, wait a minute, I thought you were supposed to work for him. He wasn't supposed to work for you. There was a lot of heavy criticism about Henry Cavill's manager in this post on Henry Cavill's Instagram underneath it and it was all about her and the fans basically criticizing Henry Cavill's manager next post comes that's the one that says that he doesn't want anybody to speculate about his personal and professional partnerships and that's where I said, wait a minute, if, you, if you're a fan of a film or you're a fan of a director, you're a fan of an actor, if you can't speculate and talk about their projects and who they're working with and that kind of stuff, that's, that, I don't understand that. If you don't want people picking on your girlfriend, I get that. And the way the media reported it, it was all about the girlfriend. But. The way the fans took it, this was really about the manager. This was about the previous post where the manager, he was basically, um, if he posted it, he was posting in support of his manager's brand new clothing line, basically right on, it was either on the day or right around the day that uh, DC pretty much decided to go ahead with a black Clark Kent instead of Henry Cavill effectively publicly ending their situation with him um, on his birthday and this all happened around that day and the fans were like wait a minute this manager should be working for him not the other way around the fans said that on his Instagram to him they believe and then the next thing you see is this post telling fans basically to shut up about his personal relationships which I totally understand and his professional partnerships and since then a subsection of his fans believe that everything coming from that account or most of the things coming from that account have not been from him have been from the management the same one that they criticized now the reason I brought that up that was just to put some information out there where I'm coming from now this James Mangold thing, the movie's just in production, Indiana Jones 5, somebody says, here's why it's going to suck, and he, he went right on the attack, all right, and because it's Lucasfilm, because Ryan Johnson also did that, supposedly, and I thought that was a stupid move, 
the wheels start turning in my head. Wait a minute. I got this whole story in the back of my mind of Henry Cavill's fans not thinking he was the one who posted this. He could, I, I prefer to believe it's him. Because if you put something with your name on it, you're signing off on it anyway. So it's them. But there's, there's an idea out there that someone else may have posted something on his behalf attacking his own fans. Now, this thing with James Mangold just out of the blue attacking somebody who by telling them they live in their parents' basement because they are saying they believe that Indiana Jones 5 will suck, he is the director, and he just immediately attacks. I can't imagine a director doing that. Not one of that calendar. The movie's not even out yet. The movie's just in production, and that's his, that's his point. It's in production, and already you're like this, and he's like, you're, you know, so he's on the attack. But if you're in the middle of directing Indiana Jones 5, you have the time to sit on Twitter or whatever social media and go after the fans? I don't think so. If you're that busy, why would you be doing that? So now I'm questioning. I mean, maybe Ryan Johnson did do that back then, but this is this this Indiana Jones thing and the Ryan Johnson thing, that's both Lucasfilm. All of this stuff, all of this shit is being kicked up between the film studio and the fans. For what purpose? Yes, it's publicity, but I do not follow the logic that even bad publicity is good publicity. Maybe back in the old days, when it was really hard to get a message out there and you needed the media to pick up, you needed the print media to pick up a story. But now with social media and everybody's plugged in and Facebook and everybody's got a Twitter account and everybody can find out what you need them to know in one second. I don't think bad publicity is still good publicity, so... This animosity between the fans and stuff, I'm starting to think it's coming from not not the creators. Because it doesn't, I mean, just James Mango could have done that. Yes, these people can be, you know, attacking their own fans from their social media because they don't feel like hearing about it. But it, it, this James Mango, what it just, it, it doesn't, it hit me. When Ryan Kennel said Lucasfilm again, you know, referring back to the Ryan Johnson thing, I'm saying to myself, every step of the way, Lucasfilm does things that the fans can't stand. And so there's this ongoing war between the fans and what they're up to. And they see the fans as enemies. That's what my whole other video was about. But now I'm saying to myself, wait a minute. Who is lighting the fire under these people to stamp out any criticism? Why, why is it that people... Are, and I, I want to go back to thinking it's about shareholders and if the whole world is being run by the whims of shareholders every decision is being made in this world by not wanting the shareholders to freak out and all sell all at once so every single um, piece of information out there needs to be micromanaged and every rumor has to be stamped out and everything needs to be addressed immediately because of the shareholders, because that's the leap my mind is making. Because why would, why would James Mango waste his time while he is in production on Indiana Jones? Bye. Why would he waste his time attacking somebody on the internet? That's only going to rile up people. That's only going to cause more shit. Why would he be wasting his time on the internet anyways? That's got to be somebody else doing that his on his behalf. And because it's the parents' basement thing, that cliche that everybody runs to the minute there's some criticism or something, oh, you're in your parents' basement, you know, excuse me. <coughs> in the case of other people, they'll say there's jealous girls not wanting people to have a relationship when really it's about the manager. Um... These people are trying to do an old Hollywood thing of really managing the public image of everything. And it's like, if you if fans don't sit there and talk about your project, if fans don't sit there and talk about your career, then you're a has-been. If you want the fans to go away, if you want the fans to shut up, they will shut up. And nobody will come see your movie. If you don't care anymore. If the whole Hollywood thing now is just about shareholders and what they think. And you can put out a movie 
that sucks, that stinks to high heaven, and it doesn't matter if it got to repeat business. It only matters how it looks on opening day, and you get as many shills to say it's a great movie <coughs> because you offered them free passes or something, and all you care about is how it looks before it's out, once it's out, who gives a shit, if it's a dumpster fire, if that's what's happening in the industry, if it doesn't matter how things are, it only matters how things look, if who an actor is or the roles they take doesn't matter, it just matters how it looks leading up to the release. Once it's released, who gives a shit? It could be garbage, it could be nonsense, it could be a complete waste of time and popcorn and everything else. If that's where we're at, because it's all about the money going in, the shareholders and the stock prices and all that shit, and who's getting me to and let's get rid of anybody who has any kind of path. If it's all about appearances to make money and to not get sued and to not have the shareholders, like I said, not have the stocks go up and down, just have the stocks going up, 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 because everything's always positive. There's no negative things. So just keep that stock price going up. If that's what this whole industry is now, because that's what I'm starting to think it is. So all that matters is appearances to not the fans, but the people who trade stocks. Then what's the point? What's the point in going to the movies? All that I've seen lately is shit. I watched Cherry and I watched Chaos Walking. Just recently, these last two movies I watched, Tom Holland, great kid, incredibly talented, garbage movies. That kid should be in only awesome stuff. But it doesn't matter because I watched it because Tom Holland's in it. <laughs> right? I think this is where we're at. I think that we're at a point where they're just going to be like, get it out there, get those initial bucks, butts in seats, or butts on subscriptions or whatever, <laughs> and then get the fuck out. So... That's why they're canceling shows that people like and are good on these platforms like Netflix and stuff because they're not shows that get people to subscribe because they're only shows that people like when they already have a subscription. Like that, the, the, that show being on the service is not going to make or break the service so they can cancel it. That means that everybody's headed towards the lowest common denominator. There's not going to be any freaking art. That means Martin Scorsese was right all along. And we were making fun of him. I apologize, Martin Scorsese. But this thing of people attacking the fans, I'm starting to think it's not them. I'm starting to think it's the people behind the scenes insisting that everything's going to be hunky-dory 24-7. Nobody can say a negative thing because it'll get somehow the news will get to the shareholders that there's trouble and they'll sell. That's what I think's going on. Which, what's the point then? You know, sell widgets, sell gold, sell silver. I don't know. Don't even bother. Don't don't even bother making a movie. Just have a title card that runs for an hour and a half. 